Aegis, my beautiful planet, shining with life, the home planet of humanity, according to what they teach in school. Nowadays, I'm the one teaching. I'm Maladin, an archaeologist and researcher in the most prestigious university in the world, and this is Nevis, my assistant. <laughs> I've studied relics, artifacts, and fossils, and my conclusion is clear. Humans do not originate from Aegis, but somewhere else. Our true home planet awaits us, far beyond the stars. During my research, I came across an ancient signal, clearly of human origin, emanating from a nearby galaxy. Since that discovery, I've been preparing to go and meet the originator of the signal. We've explored each planet from pole to pole, and now we found it. It's decided. Nevis and I will go to this mysterious planet to uncover the secret of humanity's origins. Vital signs, okay. Equipment damaged, origin unknown. Age undetermined. Antenna absent, mandibles atrophied. Hey everyone, Wonderbot here and welcome to Tinykin, which is a super adorable Pikmin-like where effectively this guy's returned to his world or Earth? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I will admit I recorded the intro to this like a couple hours ago and I've just been sitting on the main menu trying to get my voice back ship shape. Uh, I've been having trouble this week. God, this looks adorable. I love the 3D environments. They're so like beautiful and like cozy. And then there were this like really adorable little like uh, 2D character. It's a good blend and they look nice and crisp. Hey you, you're finally awake. You came out of nowhere. I was worried you might never wake up. You seem to be, actually it's probably an old guy. You seem to be okay. Uh, sorry, I've never met any one of your species. Do you need orientation? I've set up something to help you find your way and get used to your equipment. Feel, do feel free to have a look, okay? All right, I'll leave you. I'll leave you some time to get your bearings. I'll see you a bit further ahead. He was one of those fluffy moth moth beings. Gosh, like I'm I'm honestly getting um. Uh, Katamari. I'm getting Katamari vibes from this. Like, I want to roll everything up. Right stick to roll around. A to jump. Yeah. Basic tutorials. Oh. We have a bubble glider. Which... I was... I actually just assumed it was going to be a double jump. And did not bubble glide nearly uh, early enough. But that's okay. Aww. They're cute. The animation is cute. They're going to die. Well, let's grab our little minions. Hello. I don't know what that thing is, but it looks cool as heck. Wait, the tiny kin are following you? How? They normally wander around the house and ignore everyone, but they seem to like you. Tiny kin have fascinating capabilities. I may have finally found someone who can use them. For example, pink tiny kin are the strongest. They can push or carry objects. Together, they can carry even the heaviest of, uh, heaviest of objects. That'll come in handy. Follow me. You see this flower pot. If you throw your pink tiny kin at it, they can probably move it and unblock the passage. My research has shown me that an object of great importance was locked under the great staircase, but there's no way in. All right, we might also be able to climb like the little ropes. No, yeah, so they will actually just come over to me, but for now I'm going to explore. Oh, this is super nice. Holy smokes. I, I'm actually going to <laughs> clean up my language just because this game is too cute. And it feels like I'd besmirch it by by being foul. I don't know. Like, I love this. I love the whole, like, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids vibe. Uh, Grounded has the same thing, obviously. But this is a little bit cuter and less terrifying as a... Uh, well, I, I don't exactly want to say that like I'm a I'm an avowed arachnophobe because it's not quite avowed. All right. I need a lot of these, so I guess we gotta go over here first. 
But as an arachnophobe, you know, stuff like grounded is uh, deeply uncomfortable for me. You know, just bugs in general, close up, just freak me the heck out. Yesterday we found a grasshopper. Oh, that's a water bear. Yep, even water bears. Not exactly my cup of tea, to be honest. Um, there we go. Hey, you really have to like hit that uh, second A pretty quickly, but that's okay. There we go. Got it. But yeah, as an arachnophobe, big spiders and bugs in general freak me out. We saw a grasshopper yesterday and staring at it up close was not great. The way is clear. Go get that component I told you about. Aw. It is, in fact, a component. I... I'm actually kind of curious about this. This Mothman is, like, super chill with our existence. And is just like, I'm going to help teach you how to play this game. What? I wouldn't even know any of these things. Or what I'm supposed to be doing with this. I guess it doesn't matter that much, but still. Hi, Ardwin. The first component. If only that you knew how many years I've waited for this. Oh, by the way, I'm Ridby. We may, we'll make a great team. Milo, uh, Milodane, right? Milodon? Shoot. Again, missed that from the intro. Right? Come on in. I'll explain everything. I might actually have to rewatch the intro. Because I know he was looking for Earth. I just... I'm not clear about how he came back to this planet and shrunk, but maybe that's the entire point that we're not supposed to know that yet. Oh, wait, is he making a spaceship? He is. Welcome to my humble abode. One second. Welcome to my hu humble abode, my Ladane. Do you see that schematic on the wall? Once upon a time, a being known as Ardwin lived in this house. Wise and good, many consider him a deity. I think he was more of a sage. I believe this schematic was drawn up by Ardwin himself in order to assemble a machine that could go beyond this house. I spent my whole life trying to find the components, and thanks to you, we've managed to collect one already. I managed to locate five others, however, getting them won't be that easy. Your transportation device is damaged, and you need to go home, don't you? In that case, you have no other choice than to help me. Haha! -ha. Oh, and I have some friends to introduce you to. Prattle, the Ardwin Museum Curator, a real never-ending pit of knowledge. And Zakaru, the Nectar Brewer, who travels mountains and valleys. You should go and talk to them at some point. The house is big and you'll get tired walking around. I wasn't able to save your soap board, but I found a replacement. Take it. You found soap board. What? You can use it to slide whenever you want and get around a lot faster. It takes a little practice, but I'm sure you'll love it. Old right bumper to slide around with your soap board. Try it out to see how it works. I'll see you up top. Oh, I almost forgot. If you see this ador you see this adorable furball, one of my assistants. They're not very talkative, but very diligent. Use your soap board to slide along those silk strings and join me. Oh. Hello. Ah, so you're Milo. So you're Milo. Welcome to the most distinguished brewery in the whole house. It's also the only brewery in the whole house. Since everyone started gorging themselves on that nasty cheap doom is, the art of distilling nectar has been lost, and people are content with whatever junk they can get their hands on. Your eyes glimmer with interest. You wish to help? In each room, I'll be there to collect collect the pollen you find, and use it to make the most resplendent vi vintages. I like all the effort put into decorating this stuff. Like. I'm not big on realism in games, but I love the, like, when everything's shrunk down and people are doing, like, weird MacGyver... Mac 
MacGyver crafts and like decorations and like building a home, I guess. Um, there we go. Uh, out of like cast off people stuff. Ah, uh, I see you're fully function, uh, fully operational. Come with me. I know where we should start looking. The second component we need to find is a banner located in the city of Sanctar. This way, Myladane, go through here as soon as you're ready. Like, I'm trying to think of how to describe it, but you know, effectively repurposing uh, large human-sized stuff and then reusing it as as decorations or uh, for like structural elements. It's neat. Thief, vermin, the collection, bring it back. What did you do with the artifacts, villain? Wait, it wasn't you, was it? No, indeed, you're too small. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the Ardwin Museum. I am the curator, Mr. Prattle. Unfortunately, our establishment has suffered an odious and villainous attack. Most of our collection has vanished. The Dynast guards are looking into it, but you know how it is. I need all the help I can get. Bring me back the artifacts in good condition, and I will offer you, offer to you the greatest of rewards, my knowledge. With the playing cards and the pencils and erasers being used as, you know, kind of structural elements. I'm pretty sure this is just cardboard and then some books and then other books that have been opened with drawings on them and a bunch of other things. Like, it's just such a nice vibe that obviously, like, took a lot of effort to make this look as nice as it does. And it works so dang well. It's kind of like a little bedroom, possibly for us, maybe for somebody else. I'm not entirely sure. Eh, maybe not, actually. Maybe this is just where they live. And then I guess we can continue to go further up. I don't think we actually benefit too much by going up here. But I like looking around all the same. So this is probably going to be a different level, maybe to a children's room. I pressed the wrong button. Oh, well. We're just going to go to Trensidor Crossing. There's the entrance to Sanctar, a place of sacred pilgrimage dedicated to the great Ardwin. The banner belongs to, the, to a pious shield bug named Solaria. This object is very important to her and she won't give it up easily. I have a spare key for Sanctar. Obtained through totally legitimate, uh, legitimate means here. I'm counting on you, and I can't wait to see all the things you do with the Tinykin. So cute. Okay, so we have the key. Oh, wait. Is this just the room I started in? Yeah. It is. Okay, so we want to just go up. Oh, we only need one. Rad. Nope. Oh. Hopping onto my soap board. Huh. Did the Tinykin follow? Even the one with the key? Yeah. Tinykin won't follow you from one room to another. They're not very brave, but they'll be they'll be waiting for you if you come back. Okay. Fantastic! Onwards to Sanctar. I'm trying to like process what Sanctar could stand for. It looks like it's it's his bedroom that's been repurposed. Ah, to be back in Sanctar. Congratulations, companions. The ex expedition has borne fruit. What a haul! So many unknown objects, and this strange relic. By art when I feel that it is what we need to complete our quest. Hard to say, but I appreciate your enthusiasm. It is indeed about time we resolved the mystery of the canticle echoing through our minds. Generations upon generations of shield bugs, and Ardwin himself are counting on us. I love their face, their chest faces. I feel bad for shield bugs in real life to some lesser degree. Uh, they're real stupid. 
And so my last house, I would I would actively get shield bugs just wandering around in, you know, just my kitchen or whatever. I'd like try and get them out safely and they just kind of kill themselves while I'm trying to re uh, rescue them and get them outside. And it's like, well, ah, uh, welcome to Sanctar, land consecrated by the melody of Ardwin's canticle. Only the shield bugs can hear his voice. Strange, isn't it? This mystery resists all attempts to solve it. Any help you can offer will be appreciated. Speaking of mysteries, our missionaries have just discovered something. A large round relic. Go take a look. If you miss it, you must be blind. Ha ha. And finishing Solaria to give up the banner will not be an easy task. It seems that the Sanctine shield bugs want to broadcast Ardwin's canticle to make it accessible to everyone. But how? Something tells me this large circle is the key. Also, I wonder why that little shield bug nearby is so excited. I mean, I could do that. Are they dead for good? Well, time to find out. Oh yeah, they're freaking dead. Red Tiny can love to blow things up. They explode on contact with fragile objects. They also just die permanently, which is a little, a little weird. A little weird. Okay, let's just wander around for a while. I can do some side quests and stuff, but frankly, I just kind of enjoy exploring these first. Grab everything we can. Uh, let's see. What are you guys up to? I've seen it! I've seen it! And there, at the bottom of the big closet, a monster, gigantic, covered with hair, wicked eyes, deadly fangs, ready to tear me to pieces. But how are you still able to stand there talking about it if your monster is all that terrible? I managed to escape through a gap and blocked the entrance. You think I'm gonna buy that? Hmm, we need someone neutral. You with the weird hair. Could you bring us back some evidence? A fang, some hair, or a drawing? Proof that would show that there really is something in there. Otherwise, Dovey won't be able to sh won't ever shut up about it. I know you should go in and invest investigret. Oh, see investigret. She's a popular ant around here. She has a device that could help us. Interesting. We also need whatever that is, which is not something I have. Well, I could toss the red boys at it. At that. But I don't think that would get us anything. This one, though. I okay, so that just brings us back. Now I'm gonna just keep exploring and accruing as many Tinykin as I possibly can. I really need to actually play the uh, Pikmin games at some point. I believe I own... Do I own every Pikmin game? I, I'd have to double check because my <laughs> oh, what is this? My uh oh, jeez, my grasp on what I own or don't own, as far as uh Nintendo products go, is a little tenuous, just because like I kind of hoard Nintendo games, because unlike every other platform, well, it's good, it's fine. Because we can just go right back up this. Uh, unlike every other platform where you were guaranteed to more or less get backwards compatibility. Oh right, I could have just done this. I don't know what I was doing. Um, but like on Xbox and PlayStation, you're not like 100% guaranteed to have backwards compatibility. There's still a couple of games that, you know, haven't made it onto the Xbox, for example. And especially quite a lot of games that haven't made it onto the PlayStation, but the but Nintendo is just like, oh, you want to play like a modern modern version of Wind Waker? I hope you got a Wii U. And it's like, okay, I I mean, I guess that's fine. It's one generation back, and I do actually own Wind Waker, but it's kind of one of those that, like, at this point, I don't know. I would very much like to see every company take a much more aggressive stance towards backwards compatibility. Uh, cause like, I could emulate things, but I don't want to. Emulating stuff just makes me feel a little weird. Welcome to the Great Cassette Hotel, the most renowned of all of Sangtar. We offer a breathtaking view of the temple. Pilgrims from all over the house gather here. Unfortunately, I regret to inform you that the clump of hair upon your head does not fit with the standing 
Standing of this establishment, having you here is not worth it. Rude. There we go. Boop. That exposed wire seems kind of worrying. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, the music for this is actually like really, really cute. Nice to listen to. But I mean, I don't know. I'm just gonna be singing this game's praises for a while. So I guess get used to it. I'm big on unique ideas and products. And admittedly like, sure, this one is very much, oh, we do take falling damage. That's interesting. Uh, admittedly, this is very much like based off of Pikmin plus like, I don't know. I had lightly, oh, what was the other game? It takes two. Gosh, this is just It Takes Two, but I don't hate the character. And <laughs> wish only bad things upon them. Wow, there's a thousand ne nectar in here. Eh, hey, you know what, there's probably some like major quest rewards. Plus, we've already found 130 and I haven't even been looking that hard. Oh, there's a little, there's a little popsicle stick bench. That's so lovely. I was trying to think of It Takes Two earlier, uh, but I could only think of Grounded. Which, like, also very much looking forward to Grounded all the same. I'll probably either play that with some friends or see if I can get Shell on board for, like, an afternoon of suffering. Because I'm an arachnophobe. She is not. However, <laughs> neither of us are particularly brave when it comes to spooky scary. I can be if I need to, but there will be screaming involved. Whoops. So a couple details for this game that I do know. It's not a particularly long game in the slightest. In fact, it's vaguely about six six hours long. I'm gonna assume like four to four to seven, depending on like how hyper fast you are or might be. What is this? Oh, it's a letter. We also have that up there. Hey, cool. So I can actually grab the pollen globs just by chucking a friendo at it. And then, boop. Huh. Oh, this is neat. Okay, so what do we have in here? Eh, pollen. A lot of pollen. So cute. Having a conversation recently with somebody who's telling me that I should hyper specialize, you know. Oh, you like roguelikes. You should just play more roguelikes. And I'm like, I mean, I could. But then I'd miss out on covering stuff like this. I think I will always forever just be the champion of the weird, unique little indie games. I think the only immediate problem is the older I get, the more games that I've kind of seen and done before. And so, like, once again, yes, this very clearly is quite reminiscent of, uh, of Pikmin. But on the flip side, well, we haven't had a new Pikmin game in a while. And also, this is non-violent, it's all puzzle, which I actually kind of appreciate. Combat and Pikmin stress me out, like, to no end. To glide to the top of the halogen, you need at least two full bubbles. That one over there? Okay. Well, we haven't, we haven't even figured out how to do any of that. There's probably going to be a shop or a something at a later date. I do not know what to do with the letter, but that's okay. All right. Eh, there we go. I don't think there's anything else here. I'm trying to get everything done. Kind of take a top-down approach to this entire house. Because if I get everything done up top that I can for the most part, then I can just work my way down and never have to worry about it. I bet we're going to get another... Do anything with that? No. But we're going to get another... Let's see. What are they called? One of the assistants, the little moth moth buddies. Gosh, this little distillery looks great. Could probably kill the bugs. I don't entirely know how much alcohol a bug can consume, but I can't imagine that they they could take it at all. They would probably just melt them. Like you know, even a small amount of soap is just like outright pretty lethal. Oh. 
So now we've got a, a letter and a... Can I hit this? Perfect. That's for down there. I want to see if we can go up higher. Oh yeah, you can even you can even see the assistant over there when I unpin them. But what am I doing? I can just go up up and down this. All the way actually go down? No. I mean yes, I will. Wow. You can see assistants all over the place. Oh. I guess I should probably have explored this a little bit better. Oops. Oh well, it's fine. We can make it back to it. Hardly an issue. What is this? Oh, I see. I do feel a bit bad for exploding those guys to death. But, I mean, it's how the game works, I guess. Don't worry about the ethical implications of what I'm doing. Drop down to this. Can I get back up? Yes. Not only can I get back up, it's good. Good to actually go in here. Uh, let's see. I should probably also mention that this is out in 1.0. I don't think it's going to be. I don't think it's early access in the slightest. I, they might have some extra content for it at some point. No. I was kind of hoping I'd actually be able to trigger one of these piano keys, but whatever. Hey you! Have you seen my daughter Melody? I came to pick her up because she didn't show up for dinner. She's usually around here keeping this old piano in tune. But she should have been home by now. I'm really starting to get nervous. I have to stay here in case she shows up. Is it possible that someone knows something about her disappearance? There's a restaurant not far away, the Felix. Maybe they saw something there. Okay, sure, why not? I worried for a second when I hopped in in where that missing key is. I was like, oh no, is that going to lead somewhere? And the answer is no. Which, honestly, is probably fine. Uh, let's see. I guess I could have gone up anyway, but whatever. There we go. So now we can get back, kind of, not the whole way. Oh. And we missed a bit there. Fine. Hello. Do do dooby do do? No, no, it's do do shooby do do do. Ah, shooby do do do. That's not it. Needs refining. Well, that's cute. Sick tricks. There's a pollen glob over here to the side. Sneaky. Okay, anything else I'm missing, or is it pretty much. Everything we've seen. Oh, well, I might as well blast that so I can get to and from. Okay, then do we get down here? I don't know. I'm distracted by shinies, man. This game just kind of hands them to you en masse and is just like, here you go. And, well, here we go. Oh, there are restaurants everywhere. See the strings there? If you jump on them, it goes boing boing and propels you into the air. It's true. The image on the relic, this tardigrade, I'm pretty sure I've seen it somewhere before. Not far from the two big black, uh, two big black towers near the cryptic machine. I hope th this was our last crusade. That's a good movie. Oh, Praying Mantis. Like, if, if we want to talk briefly about Indiana Jones, I don't, really, I don't even think this is a hot take. Indiana Jones 3? Then one, and then two, and then Crystal, Crystal Skull doesn't exist. All that lugging around from Ambrose, what did you say your name was again? The client? Solaria. Oh, Solaria's lady, of course. A shield bug, if memory serves. One day they're in Pandemonus, the next day in Belnea. They find some gizmos, but still no Ardwin, and we're running around like crazy. They might have left by now. Give it a rest. I saw them over there. There's a bunch of them. This tip is going to be so good. I hope so with how little we get paid. Ouch. Hello? Apparently here, they hear a song that nobody else can hear, made by a guy nobody can see. I don't know who's more disturbed, the people here or the mantises of Foliana. This, I... I mean, I guess we're going to hear the... Oh. What the... Oh, right. One of my hard drives has been having issues lately. Probably unplug it and figure out what's wrong with it. 
I also might just have too many hard drives plugged in. So I should probably actually just have quite a number of them not plugged in. Oh wait, can I do... That's fun. Um, oh. Swim like a stone, so we cannot swim. That is a that is a non-starter for this character. Good to know. Well, now we can grab all this stuff that we saw earlier. And uh, previously I was thinking like, oh no, a thousand, oh no. Uh, oh, I guess that does not extend nearly as far down as I thought it would. Oh well. What does this say? Be careful around water. The technology in your suit probably won't react well to it. Yup. At least it's not insta-death. Yup. Yep. <laughs> that was an animation for sure. Oh, there might actually be something back here. Yeah, a little bit. There we go. I can just toss these guys out pell-mell. It's not like it matters. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. There's what's-his-face wants us to go back. I'm too distracted by everything. Oh, it makes xylophone noises as I, as I go by. And like, on one hand, I should probably focus on the side quest and maybe make some progress here. On the other hand, it's just kind of fun wandering around grabbing all the bits. Like, I'm not alone in that, right? Whenever I'm given like an open, uh, like whenever I'm given an open world game, if, if it just sets me free and says, good luck, have fun, uh, I will. And the plot comes literally last. Like it's, it's almost always the last thing that I do. Oh. I should have plenty of these guys. I'm not actually sure if we want to get in here. It was brutal. I appreciate the help, but try not to blow up the temple, yeah? Probably should have talked to him before I got the quest, but whatever. Oh, hello. Uh, I still have plenty. Oh, the music is even different in here. That's kind of really cool. What is this? Don't dirty the walls of the temple, you scoundrel! But my lord, that is not my intention, quite contrary. I am a dung beetle, you understand. We spend our time dealing with the filth of other creatures less enthusiastic about the idea. Too many words, too complicated. You're dirty, go away. Aww. Aww. I mean, yeah, dung beetles are pretty gross. On the other hand, that was a cute dung beetle. I need to play Bug Fables at some point. What a temple, missing some spires, buttresses, spikes, but it's pretty nice. Ugh. I, uh, I mentioned earlier my voice is kind of not doing so hot. Um, so I, I haven't been able to record like I used to. We spent a long time building this temple, but would Ardwin have appreciated it? Uh, you know, honestly, if I found out that bugs were actually crafting a temple in my honor, I think I actually would be flattered personally. A little weirded out by it, and I'd have to, like, try and figure out how to communicate with them. But, like, I think I would actually make bugs less creepy to me. Wait a second. Why do shield bugs hear Ardwin all the time and you don't? Ardwin works in mysterious ways. He has chosen the pious shield bugs as a vessel. Ours is not to question the actions of the creator, Thomas. Is Thomas the creator of this game? Probably. Huh. I don't know what I'm telling these guys to carry. Our uncle says that when there's a problem, we have to come and pray to the great Ardwin. But he never answers. Maybe he's just shy. Boy, when these bugs lose the faith, they are going to have a bad day. Focus, meditate, Ardwin's canticle is part of you. And you have to learn to live with this music just as you live with the sound of drafts and flapping wings. Glory to Nod and the, and the priestess. Ardwin, his name is Ardwin, you great lummox. Glory to Baldwin, the priestess. Glory to Baldwin, the priestess. <laughs> A 
Bumble Boar. Uh, and who your ancestors? Odwin said, to arrogance and pride, you have chosen humility and compassion. To baseness and discord, you have chosen kindness and mutual aid. I have nothing more to teach you. You will be your own guides. My house is now your house. And if one day the agreement is in peril, remember these words, this moment, and this voice. For even when I am gone, I will watch over you. It is my duty to be sac be the sacrificed. Eyes are freaking me out a little bit, but you know what? Whatever. I'll just kind of go with it for this game. Oh, hello. Isn't that like downstairs? How the biscuits did we get that to him? I guess we were just directly above it, so it just went in. Damn, I'm actually just going to get all of the pollen I need. Shame I can't ride this soap uh, up surfaces. Oh, this is somebody I haven't talked to yet. Dragonflies live a long time and do not lack memory, you know. I'm aware that you are not around from around here. From up there, I watched you and felt your distrust. You don't understand our fervor, our faith. Odwin, you have never borne witness to the miracles he accomplishes. We all live... We all live thanks to his grace. In silence and shadow, Ardwin repairs the holes in our walls. Ardwin replenishes our supplies, and Ardwin makes sure we survive. His influence begins in all places and ends nowhere. Oh, you know which other game does this really well? Superlands does the whole uh, small environment turn big. Effectively. Okay, right. I don't want to leave yet, because we have yet to get all of these. There we go. Yeah, there's supposed to be an upgrade system that I guess we get access to at some point, once I have more bubble. I also really think that this game doesn't have much for UI. It's actually pretty bare. Uh, well, there's stuff in there. I actually do not have enough red boys. Well, this is my imager. You press the button, stand in front of the big eye, and poof, it creates an image of what it sees. It's a bit heavy, but my followers help me move it around. I have at least one image of me in every room. Fair enough. We'll probably need it, but I want to keep exploring. Because there's all sorts of goodies in here. Boo! Gasper, the friendly ant. The doom is. So, you know, probably Mountain Dew. Okay, I don't see anything else in here. I do have the camera. Oh, I see. We gotta blow this up if we want to get the camera out. I guess it's something I should probably do. Okay, I guess, shall we go grab the device? Sure. I hope I have enough? Okay, I just barely do. Okay. Well, they walk with that. Or do they just know where to go? No, it doesn't look like it. There we go. I'll have to come back to this place, but I might as well snag that for the moment. Oh! And we can send the, uh, the letters. I like the tutorialization, put the letter next to it. Looks like there's, uh, maybe two more that I can get. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? The shield bug troop is back in Sanctars. That's right, my boy. That's good. That's good. My little Bobby Wad must be with them. We'll come back to pay his old master a visit. Oh, Kwai Kwan. <laughs> I didn't notice the name at first. Is 
Is that a joke? Half a dozen egglets for a single loaf of bread? That's the price these days. Hardly any goods are coming in from Ambrose. That little what little flour I've got left, be glad I can still make good bread. Good bread? The food of the Golden Ergot's always been barely edible. Now on top of that, it's overpriced. I'm gonna go trade somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, when you come back and beg me for forgiveness, don't show up without a good dozen egglets. We're in an economic crash. Prices are going up. Hello, young lava. This is no place for you. The last shed is a rest home for old, worn-out insects who want to end their lives near Ardwin. Mago. I don't know what that's supposed to be a reference to. I've actually got a f uh, fan that goes by Imago. I doubt there's a connection there, but it would be really cool if there was. Okay, snag this. Oi, you! With the messy hair, I'm not going to let a runt like you enter the homes of honest seniors without knocking first. Don't worry, my piggy wiggy. He looks weak and feeble. I'll whack with that with my pin and I'll crush him flat like a pancake. You don't care. Stole your life savings. Nope, that ain't it. There we go. Okay, where's the camera? Camera here. Hello. Okay, now I just have to figure out how to get in there. Do I... Looks like I've got a couple. Nag it all. Yeah, we were running a little low on red eggs. Or red tiny tin. Not egg. Okay. And it looks like getting up there is going to require us to... Oh, go here, maybe. That's so nice. I'm still consistently happy that we don't have to worry about combat here. I like legitimately felt really stressed out playing what what little Pikmin uh Pikmin Pigmin that I played over the years. Did, did, did you hear that, sir? Old Dovey Ken says there's a monster in there. I saw him running out of that hole. He blocked it up and ran away shouting mommy. Oh, Dovican, Dovakeen. <laughs> of course. Oh, and it's going to be a stuffed dragon. I I love the little references. They're great. Like I could play a billion games that just stack goofy references to other games in humorous ways. And as long as there's like some game based or, you know, some gameplay based merit to the game beyond just the humor of the reference, I will eat that shit up like uh, without a single complaint. Like games get stale, but good humor lasts forever. I think also just kind of on a consistent basis. Oh, hello. Actually, let's talk to him first. Traveler, have you seen the tardigrade drawing on the relic of relic the shield bugs found? It's the same as the one above the cupboard where the cryptic machine is. They'll work it out soon. Better leave them be. Be cautious, Traveler. Okay, we should probably take this photo back though. I think there was anything else in there, apart from delivering the letters. Rational, look at it! He's got a picture. Picture evidence! Wait, is that your monster? Like I said, sharp uh, teeth as sharp as razors, eyes dark as night, with an aura of hatred! Dovey, it's a plushie. There are dozens in the house. Oh yeah! Have you ever seen such a terrible plush? Do you want to go see it and show us what you're capable of? Okay, you win, Dovey. I'm trembling with fear. Never seen anything like it. You're a real hero. Can we go home now? Yes, I'm actually hungry now. Thank you, stranger. Without you, I think I... Uh, I would have really looked like a nutcase. By the way, during my heroic retreat, I stumbled upon this. I think it belongs to the Ardwin Museum. Could you take it back to them for me? A warrior must rescue now. 
Broken honor. Hey! Belongs in a museum. We got some stuff. Well, we've actually made a decent amount of progress on everything that isn't the main plot, but... I ain't complaining. I'm having a good time. But I think this is a good stopping point, at least for me, for now. Let's take a look at what this person wants. A charming lady with whom I was spending a delightful time at the Fragile told me of her misadventure. One of her most precious gems has fallen into this image box. You look like an agile fellow. Would you mind getting in there and turning the machine back on? It's the only way to get the gem out. That pointed tool out there would most likely help you open the box. In my opinion, you'd need two bubbles of flight to reach it. It'd be better if I was not seen snooping around. Bring me the gem if you find it. Oh, wait. It's, uh... RC... Oh! <laughs> RC and Lupin. Yeah, so we can't do anything with that. That's... I... Like I said... Tasteful and adorable references to things. Just everywhere. Is 100% just like... It's fun. It's pleasant. It's comfortable. And it always kind of tests me on, like... You know, do I recognize this thing or not? And sometimes I do. Most of the time I do. So sometimes it's kind of a facepalm moment where I'm like, oh, I should have recognized that. But either way, uh, so I guess let me, I got an alt tab for this one, unfortunately. So Tinykin is available on Steam. Uh, it came out today and it is, what is it? $25 uh, with 10% off, with a 10% off sale for launch week. If you're a big fan of uh, of Pikmin, this would probably seem like a no-brainer. Like I said, it is a bit short. I know that's sometimes an issue for some people. Uh, personally, I love it. I'm probably going to continue playing this on my own. Uh, just, you know, for funsies. Because it's a charming little game. I'm not sure if I believe the whole, like, five to six hour uh, play playtime duration. Maybe, but, like, I've spent an hour here and I'm not even done with, like, the main plot stuff. I'm just wandering, having a good time. I'm touring the joints of the house for the moment. This one is the most disgusting. See you around, hopefully somewhere better. I can't handle it anymore, bro. Ardwin's canticle, it's driving me crazy. I know it's supposed to be a blessing, but we've all been there, pal. We're looking for a way to make it stop. In the meantime, want another drink? Does it help? Not really, and the nectar here tastes awful. Also, I saw the bartender break three bottles behind the counter while you were talking. They only use the breakable stuff to stick with the name of the bar? That or it's an insurance scam. Hey, hey, one of my jokes for tonight. How many bugs do you need to fill an apartment? I don't know. It depends on its size. Tenants. Ten... What? Tenants. Ten ants. Haha. <laughs> Are you getting paid for this? Ten ants for an apartment. Ha 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 Let me talk to your manager. <laughs> Oh, and they have an uh, ancient iPod here. Oops. Didn't mean to talk to that one. First time here, pal. Welcome to the Fragile, where we serve the best nectar in the house. I'm not sure you could handle it, though. The glasses might be fragile, but this beverage is not for the weak. Anyway, there's a comedian performing today. He's, well, I'll let you be the judge of that. And then we have just that dude just kind of doing his thing. All right. Anyway. So with all this, I think this is a pretty good stopping point, at least for now. Got loads more to explore here and everywhere else. And all sorts of little nooks that I'm going to have some trouble finding. But that's fine, too. So, I guess with all this said... Yep, nope. Almost got it. I can get back up there. Uh, so with all this said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I've got tons of them to check out, literally endless amounts, and I'm having a good time doing it. So for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh hey, destruction. What is it doing? Oh. Fix the table? Oh no, it's... It, oh, it's the piano key. I got it. I was so confused. I know where that goes. I almost fell in that hole. Oh, they're just bringing it there for me. Nice. Why the heck not? Makes it easier on me. I'll probably still have to keep up with them, but that's fine. Actually, even better. They're bringing me there for... Uh, 
They're bringing me there so I don't even have to do anything. I can just hang out. I don't actually think I need to babysit them on this, but whenever I have NPCs carrying me around on anything, there's just kind of a fun factor of hopping on whatever it is and just letting them go instead of me having to walk at all. It's like, oh hey, there's stuff in the radiator. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, like, there's no effort on my part to move around in one of these games. Like, it's just a controller. But on the flip side, wait, what is this even going to do? Oh, it flips me off. I got it. And gets me in there. Cool. All right. Now I must tear myself away. Thank you all so much for watching.